Inamdi Kanus lawyers, world federal government, says they are ready to settle for a political solution. This is serious and it's also a welcome development. As to finding a solution to the final release of Mazi Inamdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. So guys, let's quickly hear the details of the report. The Lega team appealed to Tinibu's administration to adopt a new approach to handling Inamdikanu's matter. The legal representatives of Inamdikanu, the leader of the prescribed indigenous people of Brafa, IPOP, have declared readiness to embrace a political solution in resolving the protracted case between the federal government and their detained client, Mazi Inamdi Kanu. Recall, the Biafran agitator has been in the custody of the Department of the State Service, DSS, since February, I mean since the federal government repatriated him from Kenya in 2021. By the immediate past administration of Muhammadu Buhari, Hinamdi Kanu had fled Nigeria in 2017 after security operatives evaded his home in Abia State to arrest him for violating his bail conditions. He is currently standing tired before Justice Binta Yanko of the Federal High Court in Abuja for offenses bordering on terrorism and treasonable felony. Meanwhile, his legal team has suggested an out of court settlement with the federal government for a quick resolution. In a statement on Friday, the team of lawyers led by Inamdi Kanu's special counsel, Halo Ejumoko, appealed to President Bola Tinibu's administration to adopt a new approach to handling Kanu's matter. Citing Section 17 of the Federal High Court Act, the lawyers stressed that the law empowered the trial judge to recommend reconciliation, otherwise referred to as a political solution for this resolution of the matter involving Inamdi Kanu and the federal government. The provision of that section is not limited to civil matters alone. So anyone that puts the issue on the table will be considered for it. A political solution makes better sense than prosecution. However, it is for the government to put it on the table. Then they will consider it. Having said that, it is also the duties of Inamdi lawyers to first of all defend him and not to play politics. At the moment, Hinamdi Kanu's lawyers saying that what is on their table right now 
is to fight for his defense and release. In the expression of Inamdi Kanu's lead lawyer, Ejemokol, he referred that he makes reference to the case of the freed Yoruba nation agitator, Sunday Ade Yomo, popularly known as Sunday Igboho, and that of social rights activist Omoyele Sowore, as president, Kanu's lawyer said he was hopeful that the Tinubu government would handle the matter differently from what was done by the, the past administration, his predecessor, Muhammadu Buhari. They said the harsh and plead with President. Bola Tinibu to carefully review this case, which he inherited from the past administration, and see it if it was not politically motivated. He said their client, Hinamdi Kanu, did not deserve the travail and tribulation. He has been forced to endure. He said sometimes they do wonder what made his case unique. And people begin to wonder if it is because of where he came from, where he hailed from, that made his case different from other national agitators such as Sunday. Ibohu. So guys, how do you view this matter? Please kindly share, kindly share your thought, your opinion on the comment section. And do not forget to like and share and subscribe. <laughs>